These are my rules at my funeral. Listen up. You could cry, but don't cry too much. Don't make a fool of yourself. Bertha is not invited. Don't let her in. And you better get drunk afterward. Take a shot for me. That is a wonderful woman who has gone wonderfully viral on TikTok. 92 year old grandma named Lillian Droniak, who has gone viral after posting that particular TikTok video who that has the rules for attending her funeral. And I love that reporters actually followed up with her to figure out whether or not Bertha is a real person. And we'll get to that in just a second. But first, let's get to know Lillian. Okay, let's yeah. get to know who Lillian is as a person. On TikTok, Lillian refers to herself as Grandma Droniak, that's her last name, of course, and has 4.1 million followers. On March 30th, the TikToker, who has five grandchildren and two great grandchildren, filmed herself in front of the text that read, Rules at my funeral. The video now has 31 million views and is one of her most viewed on the platform. So again, people are super interested in whether or not Bertha is real, she is, and here's what we know about her according to Insider. Droniak told Insider that Bertha is a real person whom she used to be friends with. Insider was unable to independently verify the identity of an individual with the name Bertha who was associated with her. On April 19th, she also posted a follow up video explaining why she cut Bertha out of her life, okay? And here's the explanation. I do not talk about people behind their backs. I never gossip my entire life and I don't wanna start now. But I will tell you one thing, I cut Bertha out of my life for a long time. She was not a good person. She was trying to talk to my husband and I didn't like that either because she's a troublemaker. She tried to copy off whatever I wore, she had to wear it too. Now she knows I'm a celebrity and she gets jealous. So I stay away from her. If she comes to my funeral, kick her out. I don't need her. No. Can she be my mom? <laughs> like, love you, mom. My real mom, biological mom. You could stay too. But like, no, that's so awesome. She's like the greatest grandma. Uh, and, yeah, f and, you, Bertha. Yeah, stay no. away from her husband, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be more clear. <laughs> I need hashtag Bertha trending. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now. And by the way, somebody's gonna let me know uh, when this wonderful woman passes away because I will literally do a shot for her. Yes. I'm not kidding. On that day, uh, we'll do a virtual funeral uh, for her and I'll do shots. No, and we gotta pour okay. one out for the homie. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I'll even do a shot for Bertha. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, I don't know, to spite Bertha, whatever, okay? Yeah. I love the, she's like, He's talking to my, she's talking to my husband. She still cares at 92. No, I love oh it. Oh my God. I love it so much. Yeah. Oh, the fire. Yeah. That's what I love, that she's got that fire. Yeah. It really resonates with me, you know what I'm saying? She's copying what I'm wearing. And listen, <laughs> I would, look, I would have the same feelings toward Bertha. No right? question, and I, I it totally reminded me of you actually. Anna. It would be a lifelong <laughs> grudge. I would never let it go. And I also would not talk behind her back. I would also make videos about her. <laughs> like well, that's not behind her back. It's very much right in front of everybody, in front of her four million followers. By the way, do not actually try to find out who Bertha is. Leave the poor woman yeah. alone, okay? Yeah. But but we're just having fun with it. But she's gigantic, 4.1 million followers. She's gonna have more after this, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And they're calling people like her grandfluencers. No, but there's- That's hilarious. But there's a few that's, of them on TikTok. No, like, yeah, that's I, right. I haven't, I'm on TikTok, I, I'm not really interested in posting on TikTok. Uh, I do have one video on TikTok that I posted when I was sky high. Oh, Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, now everybody's gonna go to oh, your yeah. account, okay. So good. if you wanna see it, and there are a few comments where people are like, oh, Anna's high as a kite, and I was, and you'll see. But anyway, putting that aside, the reason why I have a TikTok account is mostly because I like to watch TikTok videos. They're fantastic, and my favorite videos are the Grandfluencers. Because they're saucy, they're feisty, they speak their minds. Can I just say, my favorite people on the planet are elderly people in general. Like I just have this soft spot for elderly people. I always have, I always will. But particularly grumpy or feisty elderly people. 
Oh, yeah, that's favorite your favorite people. thing. That's because you see yourself in them. Because I course. feel like I can really truly be myself around them without being judged. Like everyone else is like, ah, oh, decorum, be civil, be polite. Don't tell people what you really think if it's mean, keep it to yourself. But like grumpy elderly people are like, yeah, let's talk. <laughs> I'm here because, for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I said this on old school like now years and years ago. When I get to a certain age, it's gonna be no holds barred. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to stop me. Hell okay. yeah. Bertha, here I come, okay? All the Berthas in my life, okay? What do I got to lose? I'm about to die. What difference does it make? Dude, life okay. is so short. What are you gonna, yeah, exactly. We're, we're gonna be all buttoned up and like polite our whole lives. That's not okay. You do that during your working years, and then one day, if you're lucky enough to retire, you get to be a and it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. And, and by the way, she agrees with me because she said she has lighthearted conversations about death on our platform. She said, quote, it doesn't need to be scary or taboo. It helps you to live a life better if you're not afraid. Yeah. Love this woman. She's yes. She's the best. She's the best. Absolutely. There's only one thing I disagree with her on, okay? What? I like the hot goss. Why? So she said she doesn't like gossips, that she never gossips. I don't believe, she, she's gossiping in her videos. I know, I don't believe, I, yeah, that's the one thing we're calling BS Lillian, on. come on, <laughs> okay. you gotta be honest, that's what we like about you. Yeah, oh, if we, we like go the over there, <laughs> if we have some, get some tea and scones going, we're yes. like, wait, so tell me what you think about birth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh my God, it would be so, and by the way, the other thing is, I love story time with elderly people. Like mm -hmm. their lived experiences, what they've experienced, with like historic events, like they're amazing. They're the most incredible people on the planet. They're wise, they always give you good advice. Yeah, I'll do a, a, a random plug here of my dad's book, because he's got a million of those stories. It's called Original Young Turk, it's on shoptyt.com. And I'll tell you one of them now. I, whenever my parents come over, I always go fishing for stories about the old times. And every time, it's amazing. So in the book, my dad has a million stories. He meets JFK, he's like four scump. He's like unbelievable, all these different things that happen, right? He does a revolution in Turkey. But this one is the one that I've said on the air a couple of times, has really stuck with me. Uh, he said that the uh, best days for him when he was growing up. So he, there had no electricity in his house, growing up as a, as, as a farmer in a small town in southeastern Turkey near the Syrian border. He has to get up at around four in the morning. He doesn't know because there's no clock because there's no electricity, right? But well before the sun rises because he's got to get done by the time it's the afternoon. Otherwise, the sun becomes unbearable. So the, I said, so like, but did you have a happy childhood? He said, yeah, I did, I did. We were dirt poor, but we loved each other and we had family and the mm -hmm. family always took care of one another. Mm -hmm. And and But the best days were when my neighbor would let me borrow his donkey. Because then I could put all the stuff on the donkey and otherwise it's exhausting. You have to carry all of the equipment for the farming for miles because they have a tiny piece of land, but it's like a really far and it's all separated out. You know, it's not mm -hmm. this big vast piece of land. So he's got to carry all that stuff and kill him. When he had a, a, a mule or a donkey, he's like, yes, it's a donkey day. Okay. So people that are alive today have stories like that. Mm -hmm. Go talk to them. Yeah. You'll be amazed by it. I mean, we're so spoiled, Anna. We are, we are spoiled. I'm I'm holding back quite a bit after we did that biblical story about donkeys. So, so we're gonna stay away. <laughs> we're stay away from that. Okay, that's not what we're discussing now. We do have one more video though from Lillian okay. about Bertha. How could we miss that? Let's watch. Bertha called me up and she's mad because I told her I don't want to have nothing to do with her. But then she she got to find new friends, that's all. Let her find new friends. Okay, this is how I sew. I go underneath, sewing the button because the button was loose. And I made a little knot, ouch. Be my mom. She's awesome, I love her so much. Hashtag be my mom. <laughs> She's great. Yeah, uh, Bertha's like, hey, can you stop throwing me under the bus to millions of people? <laughs> She's like, no, do better, find new friends. Okay, hashtag. Bertha. <laughs> I mean, she's so old, she has a friend named Bertha. <laughs> I know, I know, man, super unfortunate names back in the day. Yeah, but hey, Lillian, you do you. Lillian's a nicer name. People it are is, saying it's a beautiful name. Yeah. People are saying it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. 
you'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.